Hey, so I'm obviously a big fan of Neville Goddard, or I wouldn't have used the name Neville Goddess for my channel. Um, but I have criticisms of Neville, and I have a big one, actually. Um, and, I, you know, I've obviously over the years, I've done a lot of reading from a, a lot of different authors um, in this area, and I've, I've only ever seen one teacher um, or one author, I don't know if, Evel, if Neville is a teacher, um, but I've only seen one person stress uh, not taking it on faith, and that's Neville. You know, he says to try it out, for test it for yourself, um, do the ladder experiment, that kind of thing. Um, you know, try to prove to yourself that um, <clears throat> That all these concepts are real and uh i think that actually does a grave disservice for a lot of people um i would have been one of them i'm really glad that neville wasn't the first person that i ran across i'm, I'm glad that he was essentially the last piece of the puzzle for me and not the first because i think actually um testing it out for yourself or whatever language he used is that detrimental for people who uh are naturally faithful and who naturally um, don't have to question everything in order to believe that it's true. Um, I think a lot of people get caught up on trying to manifest small things like a cup of coffee or seeing something or whatever. Um, and I don't think that that's necessary for a lot of people. I think a lot of people would benefit from simply um, just right off the bat uh, believing believing all of this stuff um you know uh that is possible for many and you know getting caught up in all these little things trying to to do all these little tricks um really detracts from all of the larger gifts that neville had and the, the gift of understanding uh on a real personal level how malleable your reality is and and ultimately how valueless 3d reality is um you know uh skipping past this little stuff is not that difficult um for a lot of people and if you're one of those people and you sense that all of this is the truth but you're you know trying to do these little things or get somebody to say something or whatever um and you're not having success with that, uh, I would just drop it and start focusing on all of the grander concepts that you're probably already ready for. Like self-concept, like um, manifesting a, a, you know, a, a state of ecstasy, um, you know, making sweeping changes in your life that have many moving parts. Um, you might be ready for that right off the bat. And hopefully if you are, you figured this out for yourself and you don't even need to he be, uh, be hearing me say this. But just in case um, there are a few people out there that feel like, you know, there's an order to this. And if you haven't, you know, uh, seen a yellow butterfly uh, float by, even though you have just decided that it's going to happen, you know, and so thus you can't move forward. Um, you know, I've never really been into that stuff. Um, I would honestly, you know, I keep, I, I've been mentioning this a lot lately, but I would read, I would read Wallace Waddles, uh, The Science of Getting Rich. Um, I would read uh, The Four Agreements, um, books like that, that, uh, you know, don't focus so much on little things. In my opinion, in my assessment, um, they don't. So yeah, like for you, you might just be able to take this on faith. In the beginning of uh, The Science of Getting Rich, I think one of the first lines in the book is, take this book on faith. Um, and if you can do that, you will do amazing things. If you can just sort of decide that this is the truth for you, um, it will be the truth for you. Um, and you will manifest things effortlessly. Uh, especially I think if you don't focus on the minutia and you focus more on the whole, um, that, that is when all of the minutia falls into place wonderfully without you having to monitor it or micromanage it. 
Um, so that's it. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, if you are one of the many manifestation failures, uh, definitely don't take that to mean that it's bogus. Focus on something bigger. Um, and uh, expand your horizons outside of Neville Goddard if you haven't, because there are a ton of other voices describing this exact same truth, phenomenon, um, illusion, the malleability of reality. And uh, Neville simply is not for everyone. And I, I personally don't think Neville is great for beginners um, or people that are just getting introduced to this topic because there really aren't any beginners. <laughs> I mean, everybody's doing this unconsciously and until they start to do it consciously. So um, that's it. Have a great day.